Okay, hello again. Uh, we're doing another demo of the PLC system that I've been developing that's going to be controlled by an Android tablet. Uh, the hardware is very similar to the last time we, we demoed it, um, with the notable change that uh, I've added the relay controls for the uh, actuator system. Now, right now, this is just a bit of a snarl of wires. Uh, with a couple of optocouplers, that kind of thing. We'll uh, improve that as we go, but it gives us an ability to, to trigger these solenoids and um, simulate the um, end uh, stop uh, switch mechanisms by the, the switches over here. So I'll be able to simulate those. The other major change, and this is where a lot of the energy got put, uh, is I've added the, the control system. So if I go and I plug the Android tablet in here, um, it'll pop up the um, menu. And right here, right now, the menu is uh, very similar, very simple. It just basically shows a, um, a list of, of applications. And of course, right now, I, don't, I only have the one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and select it for editing. And it brings up this display. Now, what that does is, uh, right now, this, this UI is kind of just a work in progress. It's nothing really fancy. Uh, it gives you the ability to edit the name and description and do some position entry and some basic controls. So, uh, the important thing is it can send commands in real time to the solenoids or the motor controllers. Um, what I'm what I've done right now is since I've only got one axis built in, um, I've, I've configured Y and Z to just kind of be ignored. But uh, if it had multiple axes, it'd be able to do all of these you know simultaneously. So for example, uh, right now it's hard coded for a five millimeter increments. That's just more out of convenience right now. Um, I'm looking at different ways to to clean that up and make it more flexible as we go. Uh, but for now, it, it's, it does the job uh, for testing. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to send an initialization command to the uh, motor controller by pressing init, and it will do a homing operation. And it simultaneously changes the, uh, the coordinates uh, that it's getting from the, the system. Every time the, the position data changes, it sends an update to the tablet. So if I say um, uh, x plus it'll say it'll send a command five millimeters forward moves five millimeters and changes this to a five Oops. so what I'll do is I'll just play around with this as you can see another five another five it's just able to move it around so the idea here is that you position it either manually or um, through these operations until you get it to a place you're happy with, you say 2500 was what you want, and you can say store, and it stores it as a line in the program. Um, similarly, uh, I can then change it to 10 and say store. Um, I can then go and say third 40, say store, and now now that I have that, I can actually go and say, um, test this, test this program. And so when I say test, what it does, it, it uh, homes the device, or at zero, actually, it, it uh, uh, goes back to the, to the home point and then starts executing the commands. There you go. So it's just walking through each one in turn, and you can see how it's changing the X position as we go. Nothing really fancy here. Uh, similarly, uh, the air relay and the um, uh, mold relay uh, are the things that trigger. Now if I say, um, uh, right now it's assuming the mold um, is in the uh, retracted position. If I say, okay, I want to uh, move it forward, 
when I press this button, it's going to trigger one of these relays, and then it's going to wait for a certain amount of time for the end point, the end stop, to get triggered. If it doesn't, it, it shuts things down and forces you to go into a, um, you know, essentially an error condition because either the um, airline isn't working, something's jammed, you know, who knows what. It's just a, you know, an error error condition. So I'm going to fire off this mold. You can see the LED came in, and then if I, when I press the end stop button here, the light went off, and it's stored that in the program relay forward. Um, I can then make a couple of other moves. Let's say I want to move to 20. I'll store that. And then I want to uh, shut it off or retract it. Now the other LED will trigger it because I just turned it off. And I hit the end stop button for that one. It does that job. You can see it's part of the program. And likewise, when I, when I actually run this, uh, it does the move operations and then triggers, waits for the stop, and then triggers, waits for the stop. So it will execute the entire program and, and includes the uh, relay operations as, as part of the process. Um, that's pretty much it for right now. It'll uh, The next step is to um, tighten up some of the error handling, uh, make sure that it, it behaves itself, and then be able to take this program listing and then actually download it down to the PLC which, um, you know, most of the code's in place, I just haven't tested and implemented it yet. So that's where we are.